Okay, um, this is day two of the daily burn. Um, yesterday I told you that I did core and stability and mobility. Um, so I decided I'm going to do the core one again because it killed my muscles but made them feel good. So I'm going to do that here so you can watch. Um, I'll let you know what they're doing on the video and then I will um, tell you how I'm modifying it if I'm modifying it. They say to go without shoes, so I'm going to. I absolutely hate it. I feel like I have to have shoes on no matter what, um, so I at least have my socks on. For no other reason than I just, I need support on my feet because of the weight. So, um, we'll start with that. And this video doesn't take any uh, equipment except for the chair, which I didn't think I would need, but apparently... I did. So it's 19 minutes long. He's just introducing the people in the video. There's one woman who's on, he calls her a senior, but she only looks like she's maybe in her 60s. Uh, Will was disabled and in the armed services and he just started being able to walk after an accident and then Marquita is a heavier set woman so now we're just breathing just telling you to feel your deep breaths Reminding you to pull your belly button in to your spine. So we're doing arm circles and the first time I started this video I used weights because I always use weights when I do arm circles and I realized that was a mistake because I wasn't aware of everything else that was going on afterwards. So now we're going backwards. Now we're doing arm circles all the way back, extending. If I reach up high enough, I can touch my ceiling, which is kind of cool. Makes me feel tall. <coughs> this is hard for me because of my stomach still. They say you can touch your shin, your waist, your thigh. I need to move back a little bit. I have a mirror here so I can see the TV. <coughs> I like when he says showing up is half the battle because it reminds me of when Lisa says as long as you're moving. <laughs> so now we're just stretching. Of course. This is when it starts hurting right in here. But a good hurt. Forward, 
This is when he says you can use the chair if you need to. I probably will in a minute. Yeah, see. This kind of reminds me of the leg lifts when I'm on the floor doing my floor work. So when you're pushing back and pulsating, he's telling you to grab your butt. No, he's telling you to tighten your butt. Which is, what I always say is when you're working out, you have to tighten your muscles so they know they need to be working. Makes me feel better when the skinny guy loses balance. I know it looks like I'm leaning to the side, but I swear it's because I just have really fat eyes. So they're kind of curvy. Makes me look like I'm tilting. If you can handle doing with this off the chair, it's better because when I don't use the chair, I can feel that my back and my chest too, but my core muscles are tightening to keep my balance. So this is when they do the floor work, and I'm not really good at this because I'm so chunky. So, Go back on your elbows if you want, but I just stay on my hands. So there's about 12 minutes left in the workout. If you need to take a break, take it because you don't want to pull a muscle or do anything damaging. So this is where they're leaning back and it's kind of like they're doing the crunches that I do on the bench. Um, and he said you can grab onto your legs if you want, but I actually do like tricep push-ups at this point because it's, I don't have a lot of core muscles going on yet and I don't want to miss it at all. So I'm using my arms for support, but tensing my muscles up. So that, that's what's being worked the most.
This is when my shoulders and my wrists start hurting. I'm gonna loosen my Fitbit. So now he's doing torso twist, spinal twist, and I can't go too far, but I'm moving. This is what was making, I think, my groin and my thighs hurt in a good way. But don't like reach over like this because then you're just stretching your arms. You're not using your muscles. My phone's ringing, but I'm going to ignore it. for this so you guys can watch. So I'm going to hold for five seconds and then drop for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. No, I'm just going to hold it till he says stop. So we said tabletop, which is like the donkey kick position. And that's kind of what we're doing, but the donkey kicks go all the way up in the air. These tabletop kicks just keep your legs straight. So I have a mirror next to me, which I don't like looking at because I can see my stomach in it, but I can check that my leg is straight and not bent. But I like the way my calves look. So there's about a little bit more than five minutes left in the workout. He's just saying that when you're doing this, he says engage your core. What he means is pull your belly button to your spine so that you have your, your stomach muscles tight.
So now we're going to do what I like to call hell knees. He does them left, right, left, right, but I do all on one leg and then all on the other leg. Let me show you on this side first. Five. Five. I think I can find more on this side. So now he's doing the yoga pose, child, child pose. Fortunately, I'm sweating so much that I'm sliding on my yoga mat, which is why I always keep the towel. So now we're stretching one side to another. He says to walk them out, but it's very hard for me to do that. But I do the best I can. It's better than not doing anything at all. I have a pillow that I use for this, but I don't know where it is. So, I don't know if you remember me telling you that there was a pose where they pulled their knees to their chest, but I couldn't because of my stomach. So, what they're doing is kind of rolling back onto their back, and they're pulling their knee literally to their chest. I can't do that. So, at this point, I'll show you what I do. I just kind of make a figure four, and I pull myself down because this is really about stretching the muscles back and when I do this I do feel it here but it's right here where I can feel it the pulling which is good because you're stretching the muscles you've used so we're gonna do this side They do the fetal position, but I don't like that. Don't like being on my side. So, I just relax. And breathe.
So I know it seems silly, it's kind of like, oh, that was such an easy workout, but I'm telling you that um, later tonight, or tomorrow maybe, I'd like to do it now, but I have to get dinner going. Um, I'm going to show you guys my floor routine, uh, which is pretty, it's 30 second intervals with like 10 and 15 second breaks, but I do planks and <gasps> donkey kicks and um, it makes me feel like my entire body is being worked out. Let me see how long that takes. You know what, I'm going to check in on it and then we might just do that. I might just record after I end this video. So I hope that video helped you. Um, that's like the easiest workout on daily burn. The easiest. It's called True Beginner. So it's like for somebody who's starting from scratch. So if that looks like something that you'd want to do, I encourage you to get it. If you have swag bucks, I actually signed up through swag bucks and I got bonus points. Um, I'm, I, I, you know, I'm against selling and I don't like referrals and stuff like that. So I will tell you where to get it, but I'm not going to give you a link for it. Um, that's it. I hope you guys have a good evening. Ciao.